Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to talk about customization. Are you the type of person that likes to customize the colors and the theme of your computer in Windows? This is the video for you. Let's dig in. Okay, so here I am on my desktop. Now, the easiest way to get to the color and theme settings of Windows is to right click anywhere on the desktop picture. And then let's go to personalize. This brings up the personalization settings for Windows. The first thing you'll see at the top is an opportunity to quickly select a theme. When you select a theme, the theme will come with a custom background image and different color schemes for your mouse and the frames of the windows, the taskbar, etc. So you can make these quick selections here. Some of them have a nice dark mode, if you like the dark mode look. Down below this, you're going to see the background image color slideshow. Here is where you can simply work with your desktop picture. So for example, we have pictures here. We can go ahead and select a uh, Windows 11 picture, or I can browse for photos on my computer and use those for my desktop picture. And then here you have the settings to adjust the picture if you need to fit it or stretch it, tile it, center it, etc. Now, you'll notice here you have a choice with your desktop picture. You could do a solid color. So we can switch that and keep things really simple and just have a solid color background. The other option in here is slideshow. What happens here is this allows you to select multiple images uh, for your desktop that will change out uh, uh, on a regular basis. To do this, I can click Browse, and I can go ahead and select the folder with the images that I would like shown on the desktop. Hey, look at that. Kind of goofy. I don't know if I want pictures of myself on the desktop, but hey. So let's move on with the next setting. All right, you also have the Windows Spotlight option for your desktop picture. Now what happens here is you'll notice at the top right hand corner, we have this learn about this picture button. So that's essentially what Windows Spotlight does. It places a link so you can learn more about the picture that you're seeing. All right, I'm going to stick with picture and stick with the Windows picture. Now I'm going to go back to personalization. Underneath background, let's go into colors. Here we can specify our colors that appear in Windows versus the apps. So there's light mode and then there's dark mode. And then there's custom. So what happens here is if we choose dark mode for Windows, this is going to refer to our taskbar and some other highlights. If we choose for the default app mode, this is going to refer to when you're in apps, such as this settings app. All right, moving back to personalization, let's go into themes where we can get more detailed about the themes that we're using. So again, we can come down here and select a built-in theme. We can also come up here and adjust the settings of this particular theme. If I want to change the background image or the default color, mouse cursor, and Windows sounds. We can also get more themes from the Microsoft Store. So we can come down here and browse themes. And we can select a theme and simply click Get to download this theme and use it in Windows. All right, so that's how you can use the personalization settings in Windows 11 to spice up 
your computer and customize it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please like and share this video if you think somebody else might make use of it. If you have any requests for a specific video tip and trick, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.